today I'm going to read sonnets 40 through 42, where we learn that the young man has uh, taken up with the poet's mistress. Sonnet 40. Take all my loves, my love, yea, take them all. What hast thou more than thou hadst before? No love, my love, that thou mayst true love call. All mine was thine before thou hadst this more. Then if for my love thou my love receivest, I cannot blame thee for my love thou usedst. But yet be blamed if thou this love self-deceivest by willful taste of what thyself refusest. I do forgive thy robbery, gentle thief, although thou steal all my poverty. And yet love knows it is a greater grief to bear love's wrong than hate's known injury. Lascivious grace in whom all ill will shows, kill me with spite, yet we must not be foes. 41. Those pretty wrongs that liberty commits, when I am sometime absent from thy heart, thy beauty and thy years full well befits, for still temptation follows where thou art. Gentle thou art, and therefore to be won. Beauteous thou art, therefore to be assailed. And when a woman woos, what woman's son will sourly leave her till she hath prevailed? High me, but yet thou mightest my seat forbear, and chide thy beauty and thy straying youth, who lead thee in their rock, even there, where thou art forced to break a twofold truth. Hers by thy beauty tempting her to thee, thine by thy beauty being false to me. 42. That thou hast her, it is not all my grief, and yet it may be said I loved her dearly, that she hath thee of, is of my wailing chief, a loss in love that touches me more nearly. Loving offenders, thus I will excuse ye, thou dost love her because thou knowest I love her, and for my sake even so doth she abuse me, suffering my friend for my sake to approve her. If I lose thee, my loss is my love's gain, and losing her, my friend hath found that loss. Both find each other, and I lose both twain and both for my sake lay on me this cross. But here's the joy, my friend and I are one. Sweet flattery, then she loves but me alone. <laughs>